there! My name's Dave, and I'm the Director of Recreation here at Chicopee. On behalf of the team, I want to welcome you here and thank you for choosing Chicopee as your destination winter experience. This video is going to run through the learning process and all the guidelines that we have to follow to have a fun and safe learning experience. Let's get started! Your personalized lift tickets have been distributed and your bags have been stored. We are now one step closer to the snow. Regardless of where you ski or snowboard, it is important to know the code. The Alpine Responsibility Code is to keep everyone safe on the hills. Here's what you need to know while visiting us at Chicopee. Number one, always stay in control. You must be able to stop or avoid other people or objects. Number two, people ahead of you have the right of way. It's your responsibility to avoid them. Number three, do not stop where you obstruct a trail or are not visible from above. Four, before starting downhill or merging onto a trail, look uphill and yield to others. Five, if you're involved in or witness a collision or accident, you must remain at the scene and identify yourself to the ski patrol. Six, always use proper devices to help prevent runaway equipment. Seven, observe and obey all posted signs and warnings. Eight, keep off closed trails and closed areas. Nine, you must not use lifts or terrain if your ability is impaired through use of alcohol or drugs. 10. You must have sufficient physical dexterity, ability and knowledge to safely load, ride and unload lifts. If in doubt, ask the lift attendant. Some additional signs you will need to be aware of are the trail marking signs. A green circle indicates our easiest terrain. The blue square indicates our more difficult trails and a black diamond indicates our most difficult trails. One other trail marking is the orange oval, which indicates freestyle terrain. The final signs we should be aware of are the trail signs, which will indicate a trail closure, an area out of bounds, merge signs, and slow signs. You will find these signs in a variety of places on the property. Please obey all signs at all times. There are a few people that you should be aware of on the hill. Should you have any questions or concerns, you may always ask a chaperone. Should you require medical attention, please see our snow patrol. They are people on the hill dressed in yellow and blue. Patrol also has their own area in the building located at the far end on the main floor. When you are ready, you will proceed to Station 1, outside to begin our assessment process. There, our team of instructors in red coats and supervisors wearing black coats with red pants will get you started. The assessment will take you through six stations. The lift ticket that you received will allow you to access the little foot surface lift and the tenderfoot two-person chairlift. When riding the surface lift, it is important to wait for the direction of the lift attendant. They will instruct you when to go. To maintain your balance, please place your hands on your knees when loading. Instructors at Station 6 will be providing silver stripes for those who have met the standard in our station teaching environment. This will allow them to access the North four-person chair and the Apple Bowl three-person chairlift. When riding the chairlifts, it's important to remove your pole straps if you are a skier or to unstrap one foot if you are a snowboarder. Ski poles should be held with tips facing up the hill. Wait for the chair to pass in front of you then move into position, stopping where indicated. Turn to look at the chair and sit down when you feel the chair at the back of your knees. Lower the safety bar as soon as possible. If you cannot reach the safety bar, please lower it from the side. When you are ready to get off the lift, raise your safety bar where indicated. Raise the tips of your equipment into the air slightly and stand when you feel your feet firmly on the ground. The freestyle park is off limits to groups unless arrangements have been made for you to take a specialized park assessment. Once complete, your ticket will be marked with a silver stripe and a pink freestyle dot. For those who require rentals, please pay special attention. Before you're putting your helmet on, your hats must be removed. The helmet will be placed on your head, will turn the fitting device at the back, and then Give your head a shake. Make sure it fits well. While you're sitting patiently at the bench, 
remove your snow boots and set them to the side. The rental technician will then bring you your boots to put on for skiing or snowboarding. When your equipment arrives, pull up your ski pants all the way. Be sure you just have one pair of socks on and that there's no wrinkles in anything anywhere. You may find it easier standing up to put your foot in. As you slip your boot in, the rental tech will help. Buckle them up together. Put your powder cuff on the outside of your boot, tucking nothing inside that would create pressure on your legs. And you'll be snug for the day. A firm handshake is what these boots should feel like. The number on the bottom of your ski boot will correspond with the placement of your snow boots where they put them away. When you return your equipment at the end of the day, we will make a simple exchange. One reminder. One Ski Free With Me opportunity is provided to each student per season. This non-transferable offer may be activated by returning to the hill within 14 days of this experience and presenting the original lift ticket at guest services. This offer is valid Tuesdays through Sunday from 5 p.m. till close. Each student may return with a parent or legal guardian and both receive beginner center lift tickets, rentals, and a group lesson. Lift ticket upgrades are available for advanced skiers or boarders. For more information, please talk to a guest service representative. Thanks for watching, and thanks again for choosing Chicopee. I look forward to seeing you on the slopes.